Hello and welcome, I'm your Kudmaki, and here's something really awesome that I've wanted to make for a very long time. It's been almost 7 years since I started this channel, that's a real long time, and in all that time I've done hundreds of tutorials building all kinds of interesting things. Something that I've wanted to do for a long time was really to put all of those in just one place, and yep, that's exactly what I finally did. I've just published my Codemonkey Tonkin asset, and it's a really nice collection of tools and elements to help you save time and make some really awesome games. The goal is to help you make games faster and better, it's to help you save time so you can focus on the things that do matter. So you have the time to focus on what makes your game unique. For example, do you need to ask your player some question? Maybe ask if they really want to save the game? If so, then you can spend a few hours building that yourself, building a nice question window and writing some code. It's not necessarily too difficult. Or you can instead save all those hours and just drag and drop the question dialog prefab. Very simple, very fast, and works great. Or perhaps you need an interaction system. So once again, you can build something from scratch, or you can use the one that is included in the toolkit. You can use this one as a starting point and expand upon it. Maybe you just need to ask the player for some input, like the player name. If so, then just use the really nice input window. Or perhaps you just want to make a quick prototype. If so, then quickly get started using the various included controllers. In total, right now you've got 40 tools and elements that do very specific things. There are some prototyping tools, some polishing tools, there are some mechanics, some systems, some UI elements, and a bunch more. All the tools have their own demos demonstrating what exactly they do and how they work. There's also a walkthrough video where I go through the tool and teach you how to use it. And most tools are also based on tutorials that I've done previously. So these tools are basically improved and polished versions of what I covered in the tutorial, meaning that the code won't 100% match what you see in the video, but still those tutorials are a great starting point to learn how exactly this whole thing works. Although if you just want to use them, you don't need to watch any of the tutorials. Most tools are super easy to use. Most of them are literally just drag and dropping a prefab or using a single line of code and everything works great. Right now there are 40 tools available in Toolkit, but like I mentioned, I've done hundreds of tutorials. So there's more and more stuff that I can add, and that's my goal. Over time, I will be updating this asset as I add more and more tools, and as I do, I will be increasing the base price. Meaning that this right now, this is the cheapest it will ever be. So go ahead and pick it up right now, and you'll get all of the future updates for free. My goal is to make this such a useful asset that people consider the game must-have. Basically, just like how you have the Odin Inspector, which is a must-have for making tools, how you have the ASR Pathfinding, which is a must-have for any pathfinding, how you have Feel, which is a must-have for any kind of polishing, just like those, I really hope this toolkit will be just as useful and people consider it a must-have on any project. A lot of these are things that I have found very useful myself working on my own Steam games. For example, the Function Timer class. This one simply lets you trigger an action after some time, so you start and after some time something happens. This is definitely one of the most useful things that I've ever built. I've used it in every single one of my Steam games. Same thing for the mouse position, I've used this method lots of times. Same thing for the grid system, I've used it in so many scenarios. So yeah, basically a lot of these tools have already been battle tested in production. And as I was making this toolkit, I wanted to make sure the tools are indeed extremely useful and very easy to use. So I made my own simple shop simulator prototype game just to test that. Basically tried building a mini game and tried using as many tools as I can to see do they really help, do they really help save me a ton of time. And this specifically, this is actually a genre that is super hot on Steam right now. It's something that I've wanted to make for quite a while, so this was an excellent example. I basically ended up using about half of the tools included in the toolkit to make this work. And yep, it did definitely prove that it is a massive time saver. I ended up building this demo in just a few hours. Whereas if I were building all these elements from scratch, it would definitely take me over 100 hours. For example, I use the first person controller in order to very quickly get a character working. I've used the interaction system to be able to interact with all kinds of shells and boxes. I've used the text input window in order to be able to change the price for some items. I've used the frame rate counter to show the frame rate over there. I use the error detector in order to tell the player if something bad happens. I use the grid system in order to position all the items on the shelves. I use the text pop-up and the chat bubble to do all kinds of warm messages. I use the look at component. I use the function timer, function periodic, look at camera, and a bunch more. So yep, this is a nice shop simulator prototype. Like I said, I basically tested this in order to validate and make sure that the tools really are useful. And they are. They are useful and very easy to use. Initially, I was actually planning on only building this for myself just for testing. But I figured that I might as well include it. So this scene over here, this minigame, is included in the asset as a nice bonus. Like I said, this is definitely one of the hottest genres on Steam right now, so feel free to take this as a base and then expand upon it. So go ahead and pick up the Codemonkey Toolkit with a link in the description. As I mentioned, I will be updating this toolkit over time, adding more and more tools and elements, and as I do that, I will be increasing the base price, so the price right now is the cheapest it will ever be. Especially since right now it's with a 50% off launch discount. That comes down to less than just a dollar for each tool, and I'm sure you'll find each tool is worth a lot more than one dollar. So yep, go ahead and pick up the toolkit. I really hope it helps you a lot in making your games. And if you can, please write a review on the asset store with your thoughts on it. I really want to hear what you think. Do tell me which ones you find most useful. And do let me know any suggestions for any tools that I should include in future updates. Alright, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.